livestock in New Zealand and he was kind of wondering how a North American livestock trailer was set up. So I figured I'd just make a video like this and show him what he wanted to know and this is the easiest way to explain it. So if you're wondering what the truck is, it's an 01 Levy 900 flat glass with a red top N14. Trailer's a 2015 Wilson triaxle, 53 footer. Um, if you've ever wondered what these panels are up the sides, it's about minus 12 right now, so that's how we uh, control the temperature inside the trailer. And then we have these doors up the side here, up the middle. Um, you can belly load like that or Sometimes if you crawl up there to get behind the cattle to get them moving out the or down the ramp. Um, the doors on new trailers, there's usually a man door here, the back corner. And then the back door is usually a roll-up door like this. With a chain lock there, so. Alright, so I'll work back to front. the bellies. So here, we open this gate. This trap door. Here we have um, this split level here. So if you saw me on Instagram hauling lambs, we have three levels. This is the bottom level, the middle level, which runs right up to the nose there, in that little trap door. And then this is the top level. If you're hauling cattle, this would be a full height deck, and this whole thing would be another full height deck. So if you're hauling little critters, we split it. Once that was loaded, you would close the skate up again. And then the barrier you see along the wall, you would get it and you would move it over until it runs from here all the way back and block you off here. And then here's our ramp tucked in here. Pull the ramp. That would make you uh, make some little air animals up here. And the top deck. You see that the If you're loading cattle in, you would run them in the door, up the ramp, along here, down the ramp into the nose. If you're hauling shorter stuff, you see the nose is split here with these removable planks. You would open this door, and they would, uh, well, it depends on your trailer, I guess. Wilson, that's not a door. Eby's, that's a door. But there's a door in the ramp there, and they would go up and stand up. There. And you close that up. It's all it's all equalized with with gravity, so it's very easy to do. But it lifts that ramp back up and makes it part of the floor again. And then back here. Again, if you're hauling little things like calves or lambs or pigs. We have what's called a dog house. And you open this door here. And you can see this bit of floor here. If you need more room, you fold that down and then you have a 
seven eighths dog house right now it's set up as a three quarter dog house and then you close that ramp and uh, they're all penned up and along the sides here we have this gate which would come up and split this pen in half if you want to do that for little things or if you've got different lots to drop off with cattle you really wouldn't do that so clear as mud I hope it's not that complicated once you get used to it but uh, that's how I would say 99% of North American cattle pots are set up is just the uh, made for kiwi trucker there so I'll send this to you and there that's how we do it now I've got one other thing I could show you that is probably kind of rare um, and that's this trailer here which this is just the pop off of super bees now it wasn't very popular but there were super bee configuration uh, livestock haulers so I haven't actually seen a full setup but this is the pup and it would be enough to show you what they would be like so of course this being the very back um, there's three levels so you'd have this level along um, this rail here and then there's this rail. So you'd have three levels of hogs in here. Um, and then what you would do to unload the front trailer is there's this door in the nose of the pup. And you would lay a ramp from this trailer into the back end of the lead. And you would run your hogs from your lead, which would be an identical setup with three decks. And then you would run them all through here. And I think you used to be able to get oh, close to 300 hogs on that setup. Someone probably knows better than I do. I'll put a picture at the end of this to show how it's the whole configuration looked if you're not quite sure what super bees are but um and of course there's freight doors there so you could haul freight with this setup too i guess if you wanted um this one actually doesn't have a roll-up door it just has these swinging freight doors like a van trailer so yep yeah. that's not a common sight especially not no more but that's just another way we had of hauling animals, but I don't think it's so much, I don't really see the point anymore why you would, especially with these 53 footer freight pots that guys use now for an unwest.